Hello, everyone. Hi, everybody. Woo! Uh, welcome. I know. I just wooed. Um, I'm excited today. Why am I excited, Jennifer? No idea, Sam. Why oh, are you really? excited? Because we've got all the fun STEAM activities inspired by the holiday season. We do. I guess, you know, I'm going to just a tiny bit. Get me in there, too. There we go. I'm not cutting off my face anymore. Um, all right. Where are we starting? We're starting with something a little bit sweet, right? We are. Mm. So we know how... We know how you like sweets, you know how we like sweets. So, um, we have in your bag some gumdrops. They are not supposed to be spiced, so we'll see. I don't think so. I think they look like the other ones. All right, let's just do a little taste test. Here we go. Oh, I don't do gumdrops. I'm sorry. It's the, like, jelliness of it, like the gummy thing. No. They're good? They're fine. Okay, good. They're fine. <laughs> grape um, so is grape. We have a challenge for you today, right? Yes. So you're going to use these gumdrops. You're going to want to get a bunch of toothpicks. Damn, sorry. <laughs> what are they going to do with it, Sam? <laughs> All right, you're going to take your Q-tips. Uh, Q <laughs> <laughs> They're not Q-tips. Uh, your toothpicks. Wow. We... <laughs> Ooh, okay. We're um, and we're gonna make trees using our gumdrops as the glue, right? To each different level, like of tree, maybe you're doing just the shape, but your gumdrops are gonna hold your sticks together so that you can build a tree, which is really cool. See how tall you can make it. Mm, that Leave us fun. pictures in the comments if you would like. Yep. So that's project number one. Yes. Project number two is your cardboard tree. Yep. So I did color mine with grand. You were gonna first it looks great, <laughs> right? It's so pretty. Um, you first want to go out on a nature walk. You want to pick some pine branches or just anything you think looks kind of pretty and naturey. I like what Jennifer collected from the library. So outside my office, we have these really <laughs> nice berries. Um, don't eat things you don't know what they are. Please don't. And I, we didn't have pine, but we have these nice greeneries. So you can color yours or not. Um, you're gonna use your rubber bands. You're gonna make a couple notches with some scissors in your cardboard for the rubber bands. I'm just gonna do three on each side. I'm gonna try to do them the same, but I cannot draw straight around with the ruler, so you know. Mine are probably not. Mm, that's good. So you kind of, yeah, that's terrible. That's okay. The idea is you use your rubber bands in the notches, and they probably had a little bit bigger. And you put in your greenery. And you make this really cool nature tree. I might just do the one rubber band, but. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it too because it gets you out in nature, which I really like going for a walk in the woods. It could be like an ornament or something or something you put it up could. in your window. Or in your um, table setting or something. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could put a string on and it and hang it. Yeah. And of course, you could do more rubber bands. I think it's pretty secure with that. So. Yeah, I think maybe if you try to make your notches just a little tiny bit bigger and like really get your rubber bands in there, it'll work out really nicely. Yeah, I did not do that. Yeah, that looks good. So you can see, there's a little notch. Yeah, backside, you can see that it's there. Good. Awesome. So that's project oh. number two. Oops, Can't that's that. for project number three. I know, all right, project number three. You need your battery, Ooh. your magnets, they're all together. Oh wait, I was gonna try to pick it up, hang on. There we go. Magnets are so fun to play with. <laughs> um, your copper wire, which I have now made into a fun spiral, which we'll get to in a second. And your little... Cr Crate paper. I, thank you. I can't ever say it. I don't like it. So the other thing you can do, once you have made the tree, this is a tree, is to decorate your tree. So yes. that's what the crepe paper is for. I saw some people put on little pom-poms. I saw some people put on uh, perler beads. To decorate, you can probably just color your tree I, with marker. Yeah. So the first, I'm gonna, because I know that mine works, I'm just gonna cut mine into a triangle because I'm not 
awesome at making trees. And so mine's just gonna be a cute little triangle. And this did this take a long time to play with. My so. tree for later, okay? So I have my cute little tree that, like Jennifer said, you can decorate if you need to, want to. All right, so your first step is you're gonna take your battery. You're gonna take your magnets, right? And we are going to the minus side of the battery, which is, if those, for those of you that don't know, the side that isn't the plus side and the flat side. So my battery now looks like this. So you see my little, little notch out on the top and then the flat side has the batteries on it, right? We wanna get that in the middle, as much of the middle as possible, and we're gonna be able to set it down. We're gonna maybe have to move this around when we actually show them what we're doing. And so you're gonna take your copper wire and we are making it so that it can spiral around your battery. And so I'm gonna show you, I have bigger spirals that are circling the battery so that they go around and there's space for it to move. And then on the bottom, I've got a littler spiral that really kind of hits where the magnets are. Can we all see that? That's good, great. And so I had to work on this for like 10 minutes maybe, um, if not more, trying to make sure that my spirals, everything like matched up so that I would be able to balance so that it would move around like it needed to move around. And now of course, we said we were ready because it worked and now it's not working. But we're gonna give it a second. We're gonna give Sam a second. Ah. So you need your, the top of the copper. Okay. Oh, you see? It? Yeah, so gonna, I know. Uh, as you gonna, drop I should it. have moved the other one up closer, no, sorry. No, it's gonna be too low. We need to actually, we're gonna pick you up, I think, once we get this to work again. I'm gonna talk about how the top gets connected. Yeah, so the top is sitting right on the, like the top of our copper wire is sitting on the nub of the, I'm gonna call it a nub, the little jut out on the battery. And so something that we do need to be careful of is these get really, really hot. Um, so we're not gonna let this run forever. Um, and it's just And the battery can also get warm. So if, it, yeah. if, it, if they're warm, just take a little break and go back to it. I think I need not that. I don't know, I'm not the right level of balanced anymore. No. All right. As it does nothing, but everyone saw it work. So this is a testy little um, experiment. And what you're gonna do when you're done and you finally have it all worked up so it's all lining up and it's spinning when you do it, you can attach your tree to the top. We're just gonna use tape or you could also use hot glue. And I'm really upset that it's not working again, but it did go on camera. Try it one Everybody more time. saw it. Try it one more okay. time. Okay. I'm gonna try it with a different battery one more time, just in case. This is finicky. But it did work and everybody saw it. I promise everyone saw it. And I'm like really excited that it worked on camera. Even Some if it's first do not always work on camera. Mm. No, not today. No, nope. that did not work at all. <laughs> it's okay. But it did, it did, oh, I promise. Oh, there we go. Work. That's a better angle. All right, try one more time. I kind of like. Thing about experiments is you always try and fail. And yep. then try again. Apparently today we're just gonna There we go. <gasps> oh. And so now, thank goodness, I'm so oh. happy. So my balance isn't great, right? And so that's part of it, part it of the experiment. Could be you could also move around your spirals, see if you figure something else out that works. Like uh, like mine, you can, you can tell. I'm very top heavy here. Um, and I was just trying to get it so that it would work on camera for everyone to see. Um, so as you are making it, you can move things around, make your spirals bigger and then 
make them smaller at the bottom. The key is the bottom does have to go around the magnet, so you wanna make sure that the bottom of your spiral is actually wrapping ar towards around the magnets because the magnets are what's causing it to then spin because it's going in a full circular situation, right? That's it's a circuit, thing. yes, circuit. Yeah, um, circuit, that's a word. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. So I'm not gonna make my tree because we know how crazy I've been, but you can make your tree, you can attach it, and you can see if you spin as well. Um, what else do we have? We do I have know. a little bonus that we're gonna put in your bags, which you can try. It's a 3D paper Christmas tree challenge. So let us have pictures of those too. And we hope that you had really fun with us this year. Uh, we'll be back next year with some more STEAM Ooh. challenges. Ooh. Oh yeah, happy holidays, everyone. Yeah. Happy holidays. Oh my goodness. We'll see you in the new year. Yeah.